Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I think we have to start this week's uh, video with a huge thank you for everyone who got us to our 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, absolutely, that was amazing. That was huge for yeah. us. Um, we got there, as we said, way quicker than, than we thought. And um, By you know, many months. By several months. Yeah, yeah. I, th yeah. I thought December-ish, when we first started yeah. and things were going well. Mm -hmm. So we beat that by six and a half months. And it just gives us uh, more excuses to do more giveaways. And there's some more coming. Yep. We're, we're not going to announce them today though. Just, yeah, we're going we're gonna to hold on, keep you uh, in, suspense. A, in suspense a little bit longer. Keep we got you, some, you got something crazy in the works yeah. though. Yeah, we're going to do something really cool and that's going to mm. be the theme of these thank yous and, and kind of uh, our, our little bit that we can give back to, yep. to our viewers that we, we really appreciate how much support we get in the channel. So I uh, just wanted to start this week with, with that one. That's, Absolutely. that's meant a lot to us, that's for sure. So um, today's topic that we're going to touch on is, is something that at this time of year when our customers are coming in trying to optimize their bags, mm. uh, this is a topic that comes up a lot. And it's uh, which fair we would to pick that has the most versatility for the player. So right. Is it a three wood? Is it a four wood? Is it a five wood? Mm -hmm. That's something that uh, our golfers come in and maybe they're not really quite sure, you know, what's going to benefit their game the most. Maybe they're looking at it, well, I hit it mostly off the tee, I hit it mostly off the turf. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to understand that, you know, off of the, both of those scenarios, those clubs are going to work very different. For sure. And I think it's, it's always kind of gone back just in my whole career with golf. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that, and we should say, we're going to do a slower swing speed test today. Yeah, we're going to try and keep it fairly close to the average yeah. uh, golfer's swing speed. And reason for that is that, just in my experience, I've noticed that an actual 15 degree three wood yes. doesn't really suit a whole lot of people. It's your higher swing speed mm -hmm. player that needs the height and spin reduction yep. off the turf and the ground that mm -hmm. can make a 15 degree work. Yep. Um, and when you get to a more average swing speed, and especially lower swing speed, right. the four wood and five wood option, to me, just make more sense. Like yeah. you should be able to get more launch yep. and probably keep the ball in the air a bit longer, get more carry. A little bit more launch, a little bit more spin. Yep. And with the modern day design, without sacrificing the ball speed. I was going to say, you probably hit him further in some cases. Yeah, you, in, in, in most cases, most uh, cases yeah. with the average swing speed. And, and I think that's probably what we're going to see today. It'll be really interesting to see, because we're going to test basically um, six different tests. Yep. Three wood, four wood, five wood off the turf, three wood, four wood, five wood off the tee. So we're going, to use the, yeah, we're going to use the TaylorMade M4, mm -hmm. uh, one of our most popular fairwoods uh, this year. Probably actually is our best seller between that and, and uh, Calorie Rogue. Is that right? Yeah, nice. yep, they've been uh, our biggest sellers. Uh, the M4 is a little bit of a bigger confidence inspiring profile. Yeah, so, you can see that from the yeah, shape. Yeah, this, this definitely gives you lots of confidence when you look down on it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll start with that one today get some, some data and, and we'll start to kind of put the pieces together. It'll be really interesting to see once we start getting some patterns of launch and spin and, yeah. and we look at the peak height and the angle of descent and all the things that we consider make a, you know, a balanced golf shot. You know, yeah. we don't want it to be a one dimensional, you know, rocket that just, you know, comes into the ground with no control. Something you can hit into the green and off the tee. Yeah, it's got to, it's got to have some function to it. Mm. Um, so, we're going to do that today. I think this this will help a lot of uh, people out there, you know, when they just default to, okay, it's driver three wood. Exactly. That's the thing is, so set makeup, and this is one thing we're going to really continue yeah. to dive into. Yep. We've touched on it a bit, but from what I've learned from you, the set makeup, people just need to stop going kind of super traditional. Mm -hmm. They need yep. to stop going with the kind of the preconceived set driver mm -hmm. three wood, you know, hybrid, yeah. four iron. Yeah. Depending on your swing speed and your launch conditions, mm -hmm. you might end up with something totally different. Yeah, totally. Like I'm probably going to end up with a forward myself, mm -hmm. just because of the way that I swing. And maybe we'll do that in a separate video. Yeah, yeah. Um, but especially for a lower swing speed player, mm -hmm. I just don't see anyone benefiting from a three wood. Well, th there's the there's the other end of the spectrum, which is really interesting that you touch on that. That with someone with not enough speed probably doesn't benefit from three wood because it goes too low. Yes. You probably don't benefit from three wood because it goes too far. Yeah, but exactly, two different problems. Yeah, two different problems. So for you, because you hit driver, you know, we've seen it, 330, you know, 320 consistently. Well, do you really need a 293 wood? No. I mean, how functional is that when you're playing it's the courses not. you are? And especially if you're, you're a good driver of the ball, it'd mm -hmm. be different if you were playing it as a backup off the tee. That's exactly what I was gonna say. If you have a 13 degree mm -hmm. three wood, yep. which in the past I actually have played around with, um, that becomes a driver replacement. Yeah, exactly. But that's not, that's not hitting into a green no, with that club. I know. 
So, so these are some of the variables that we're thinking about when it comes to the fairway wood, the next club uh, down after the driver, whatever your longest club is there. And it's always been a really interesting club in the bag for so many people because mm. it has to have that, you know, sort of dual versatility, dual function, uh, tee and, and, and off the turf. Um, so when we look in people's bag, there's a lot of the time the either the, the, the three wood or the putter, one of the two are the oldest clubs in the bag. That's interesting. Quite hard to wrestle that, you know, favourite little fairy wood out the bag because, you know, it just just kind of does does the job right. uh, well from, from both. And maybe they uh, haven't actually tasks. gone through a proper fitting process to see, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they've just been grabbing three woods on the range, never yeah. considered a loft change. They've considered a head style and a shaft yeah. change, but not a loft change. I know personally, I use an old three wood. Mm. Uh, my, my three wood is... Um, probably four years old. What do you have? Um, it's, a, it's an old tailor-made tour issue he head. Oh, okay. So um, yeah. I use that when it's been, it's been in my bag for a long time. Mm. So again, that's just something, uh, something that I just, I don't, you know, it gives me exactly what I want and, and I've tested other ones and they're, they're, they're not giving me anything yeah. you know, different from, from what that one gives me. Which that can happen. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Right, let's, uh, Let's hit some uh, some three woods off the, okay. the turf to start with. Gonna start with the three wood itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're gonna aim to hit these about. What, what do you think is an average? Two ten, two fifteen, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I think if our swing speed is in the low nineties, that right. re re represents most of the people that are watching here. Mm -hmm. um, so let's let's go with that, and, and that should represent about a one ninety to two hundred yard carry. Yep. Then whatever the ground conditions allow. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, Matty, um, that was our first five with the three wood off the ground. I mean, pretty standard stuff, kind of what yeah. we thought. Uh, 94 mile an hour. Let's see what the average club head speed was. Yeah, I mean, in, so average 93, 92.7. Really good. I mean, I think that really represents the, the average golfer average. out there. That's what I see. I think there was a, some, my golf spy reported through the week the average um, club head speed um, that that we're seeing out there right now is about 93.4 uh, okay. to be exact. Now, um, I, I posed the question to him, is that a track command measurement or is that a GC quad which is measurement? Fair, yeah. Which is different because, you know, our, we know that a GC quad uh, 93 and a track man 93 different. are different. I think they're um, GC quad guys, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Cause yeah. track, well, that is interesting because track man have always reported to us that 94 is the average male. Driver. Driver, driver, yeah, yeah. and then about ninety um, on the on the fairway. So you're you're right there. We're close, yeah, right there. Okay, um, really good, consistent trajectories from a side-on standpoint. You were turning them over a little bit. We know that's the the product of your new swing, which we're loving. Yep, a nice consistent right to left, but it's definitely too low. Average in forty-six feet. So um, you know that's not of massive benefit for you coming into a green. Uh, at 25 degrees angle of descent yeah. so we saw some very low shots some pretty low ones and it'll be interesting to see as we progress through the lofts now uh, how we see that height progress Pick up Perfect. okay right let's change it up
Okay, Matt, great job as always. Um, that was quite interesting. Um, it did mostly what we expected, you would say? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think maybe it was a little bit surprised. Um, a little bit surprised in the three wood performance. A little yes. bit surprised in how similar the five and four wood. Yeah, performed. that was a surprise. So the three wood to the four wood, I expected to see a nice yep. jump. Um, but as, as you said, the five wood just kind of gave a, a little bit more launch and a little bit more spin. Not crazy amount though, not, not significant. So we hit three uh, off the, the turf to start with. Let's kind of look at those first and foremost. Um, five wood was, was certainly the best off the turf. No, no surprise no, there. No, no surprise there. Morris Loft is always going to provide a little more protection um, on, on the miss set. It's going to provide more spin, going to provide a slightly higher flight. But quite similar, you know, if we look at those trajectories right there between the, the four and the five wood, mm -hmm. quite similar. They were quite similar. Yeah. So you may end up with a couple more yards out of the, uh, the five. A little yeah. more carry, which we expect. Just, Just a, a little more. Fraction more launch angle, and mm -hmm. that was pretty much what did it. And, and, you know, strike to strike, we're not robot testing here, so we are exposed a little bit to the, you know, certain strikes. And For sure, yeah. We probably wouldn't expect that to be a trend that the five wood spins a little more than the, no. the four, but... I think I probably just drew the, or sorry, not drew, I think I just struck the five wood slightly more on the toe. Okay. Just a bit. Yeah. But I mean, average wise, it's pretty much what we thought we'd see. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. So let's, uh, but you know, I think just stick here for a second, just three wood, tough. Yeah. Off the turf at that swing speed, not I don't see function. how anyone could use a three wood for any benefit, unless you wanted to play super link style courses in the wind only yeah. and, and hit bullets. Right. So switching over to um, off the tee, mm. again, big difference in the, the three wood trajectory to the four and five. Yep. Very, very different now. You hit the three wood great off the tee. Uh, you actually hit that one really nicely. But in terms of launch and spin, it was quite a lot less. It was, so lower, lower in both. Mm -hmm. We ended up with a yard more just because it was a very flat, more like a driver flight, I guess, right? Yeah, like it was 13 it was. launch. 2200 spin. People would be pretty happy with those driver numbers, wouldn't they? They would be, yeah. So, um, so where we're looking at that, someone who maybe the main function of three wood for them might be a backup off the tee because they yes. struggle with their driver from time to time. They maybe, you know, gauge their practice session with the first few holes and maybe they just go, today's not the day for the driver. For sure. I'm going to put that away. Yeah. Um, but we introduce, as we have always said, less backspin, you're going to introduce more curvature. So if you're looking to find the fairway, the four wood's mm. a better choice yeah. right away because it's got just a bit more spin to it. Exactly. Okay, um, so four and, and five wood, much more similar. Yes. Again, they, they almost, well, they, they match each other for launch angle. Pretty much, yeah. Very, very interesting. And again, we can factor in a, a bit of swing influence there, I'm sure. But no mm. doubt that for the most part, the five wood will just go a little bit higher, a yeah. little bit more spin. Mm -hmm. Um, and it goes a little bit shorter total because, you know, just a little bit less flat flight overall. As we progress in ball and, and, and loft, we should start to lose ball speed. Right. Uh, and we should start to add some spin. So that's exactly what we would we would. That's really an important thing to is, mention. Yeah. So you're saying as the, as the loft gets mm -hmm. more, it's just not as compressed on yep, the face? Yep, the, 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 the blow is not as square. Gotcha. You know, it's more of a glancing blow the more loft we add. So that's, that's what uh, allows us to decrease our ball speed and change uh, the, the spin conditions. Cool. But very interesting to see uh, how similar those uh, four and five woods performed uh, on the M4. Um, this was something that we really, when I was working at TaylorMade, uh, you know, several years ago, when the R9 fairway woods came out, mm -hmm. so the first interchangeable heads and shafts, right. It really allowed us to help people with their fairway woods because we would spend all day going, okay, you struggle with your three wood, let's keep the length of that three wood, mm -hmm. but let's go to a four or a five wood. In terms of loft, so we were yeah. able to then take those different heads and, and switch them out. So we didn't sacrifice any of the club head speed right. on the 43-inch uh, three wood shaft, but we were able to give them some more loft. Yep. And I think that's what we were able to see there. So For sure. as long as we can keep the leverage the same in terms of the club head speed, yep. um, the ball speed drops are minimal, if any. Yeah, we saw if it almost not, not enough to, not, to not say is definitive. Yeah. Yep. And then as long as we're able to benefit from optimizing launch and spin, mm. we can definitely benefit from having a little bit more loft For sure. at that speed. Yep. At that speed, at for that sure. Speed. And to give you a club that you can actually hit off the turf. Yeah. That three wood's no good off the turf at that speed, I don't think. No, it's just, it's, I mean, if we look at the, if 
we use the optimal one, so the, the three wood versus the, um, the four wood five wood, wood off five the wood turf. Off the turf yep. I mean, look at the difference there. It's yeah. Night and day. You know, five woods going 10 yards further and straighter and higher yeah. in, every, in every which way it's better. Yeah. Um, so that's where people think, oh, I'll go with the three wood, it goes the furthest. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. It's, 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 you know, it if your trajectory is tilted enough, mm -hmm. maybe, but your trajectory has to be through the right window. If you get it to the point, you know, any, either side of optimal trajectory whether it's too high or too low, right. is going to go shorter. Yes, for sure. Right, so you've got the right amount. So, you know, for you and off the at that speed off the turf, five wood is by far the best. It was trajectory. a great club, yeah. Really, really good. It is amazing to see that you can hit it ten yards further with a club that is easier to hit. Mm -hmm. I mean, a little more loft is always going to be easier to hit. A little more spin is more stable. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty. I mean, not that this is unexpected, yeah. but would you say a person who is steeper? Say someone's really steep, because I'm, I'm fairly shallow in my right. delivery. Mm -hmm. This becomes even worse, because your three wood, if you're steep, I'm sure you'd spin it more. It's a really good question. So three wood actually becomes more functional um, than... It is than, more functional. Yeah, so when we, when we, see, when we see basically the, the spin loft window get larger mm -hmm. as a virtue of the angle of attack getting steeper, mm -hmm. it really depends on what the de delivered loft is at that okay, point, okay. right? So if you get steeper with the same amount of delivered loft, five wood would probably spin too much right, and then right. fall shorter. Gotcha. So with people generally, this is maybe not a bad little nugget to take away from this, for people generally who are steeper, loft is normally not their friend. Right, so a lower loft is helpful. Lower loft is helpful in order to try and maintain that spin loft window. Gotcha. So whether that's, you know, I, I, I see myself with guys who are a bit kind of, you know, we'd consider them to be kind of steep, mm. um, you know, cutting across at sleep, uh, steep slicers, mm. going lower loft, close the face a little, um, to try and encourage a little more rotation in the face okay. really helps manage launch and spin and direction kind of binds all of those those kind of swing flaws together and you know back to the topic of is it is it do we fix our swing or do we fix our clubs we're all about fixing you know your swing for sure, yeah. but the reality is for some people that might just not be a realistic thing to spend no. the time to change the swing so no. as a as a fix to that you know going towards that sort of solution will help for sure um, would you say that in the majority of your fits, mm -hmm. the four wood is the one that ends up being the best balance of, of, of both worlds for this swing speed player? I think that's what we've seen here, isn't it? Is yeah. the, the real value of, uh, I mean, the, you know, three wood, we're almost dis we're discounting that for sure. Mm -hmm. I think the four wood is the best balanced uh, one out, out the bunch there. For sure, because um, we found the five wood was a little high and we lost a little bit, you know, efficiency bit. wise off the tee. It wasn't bad, certainly but the, uh, the forward was kind of the most balanced club that was good off the tee and off the turf. Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think that would give the, the kind of least amount of sacrifice off the tee. So if we compare three and forward off the tee, we'll see basically the same result. Yeah. And then if we look at four and five wood off the turf, we'll see pretty much the same. Now there was, there was one that we tugged a little bit to the right yep. um, with the, uh, with that one, in terms of dispersion, yeah, we had one, one of the bigger well, it draws. Was one, yeah. It was pretty pretty similar pretty in terms similar. of results. I mean, you just yeah. get a little bit more carry and, mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit more total yardage out of the five wood exactly. off the turf, which makes sense. And I think that's one of the, the the reasons Taylor made really saw huge value in calling the that the four wood three high launch. Yeah, that's what this one says, yeah. right? Three so there's, three there's, HL it exactly. Says. So okay. they don't have a four wood in, in that one. It's a three high launch because. They, they want people to still think of it as their three wood, okay. just the one that goes higher, um, right. you know, for, the, for that particular Nothing wrong with point. that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Some people are afraid to go away from the three wood. They still want to have a three wood in the bag. You know, f using a four wood, I think sometimes psychologically makes some people think like they're giving, they're sacrificing gotcha. something, giving us up, something up, when really that's not the case. So no. Bit of psychology uh, from, from the guys at TaylorMade with that one. I think it's smart. So you shouldn't be afraid to play with loft in the woods. Because yep. a driver is a driver, mm -hmm. but you could have an 8-degree driver or a 12-degree driver. Yeah. Still a driver. That's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Abs definitely. Definitely. Yeah. In any which way that, uh, you know, it works. So the club plus your swing equals the result. You know, so just whatever, whatever mm. that club needs to be to, to, 
bring the best out of your swing to create the right result is the right one and that in this case is, is forward is the best balanced club because yeah. it needs to be you know have that versatility like we talked about for sure so guys don't be afraid to try a higher lofted three wood mm. or yep. four wood or four yeah with the same length shaft as the three wood would come with because a lot of the time in this swing speed range mm. i think people will see better yep. performance straighter a little more distance i think that's exactly the point yeah and uh, if you guys get a chance to test them out let us know how it goes mm -hmm. happy to answer your questions if you're getting too much height you know not enough yep. there's other ways we can mm -hmm. tweak you know we haven't even really touched on adjustable hosels yeah. with this because you could even further get into it from there you, you can but for sure. this is a nice representation of i think four wood is what most people should be considering yeah. and i don't yep. think enough people consider it exactly and i think this type of thing is is what our uh, viewers are giving us such great feedback is that when they're going for fittings now they have you know a little bit more knowledge towards going for that fitting so if, you know there's if any of you guys are going for a, a fairy wood fit mm. over the next uh, next you know little while, make sure you do something similar with your fitter. Make sure, sure you ask them to try. Well, can I maybe try that four wood to see how mm. that compares to the three wood? Um, you know, just to see if that's an easier one to hit. I think so. You know, I think that's that's really smart. Just a, a little side note. Um, you know, towards this slower swing speed test, Ping actually do a really smart thing with their Ping GLE uh, woods. Their three wood. Uh, and the ladies' range starts at 19 degrees. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. Which makes sense. So they, sense. they still want you know people to think it's a three wood. Yeah. It is a three wood, but that's Just that's, more loft. that's the loft that the player who swings at slower speed should use. You know, if if you have a little less speed, you should have 19 degrees of loft. Their five wood has 22 degrees of loft. Mm -hmm. um, so that I think that's uh, really smart on, on their part I agree, um, yeah. to do that. Very cool. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope this is kind of a little bit of food for thought for your own game and, and how you can get the best balanced fairway wood in the bag. We know it's a tough one. We know it's mm. tricky, you know, trying to get that balance and blend. Uh, we haven't really even touched on shaft yet and should you match the driver shaft to the fairway wood shaft. That's another Maybe, video. That's another video. Another video. Uh, absolutely. Well, cool. More the merrier. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.